we have one unthrilled kitty cat in the bathtub. <laughs> what do you think? Have you ever put your cat in the bathtub? And he was not happy, right? This one at least isn't clawing us. This one is not clawing us yet. Not yet, at least. <laughs> I had to wash uh, a few kittens that we uh, were fostering. And one was so mild, loved being under the water. The other one clawed my hands to just shredded up my hands. I was like, wow. Lesson learned. Cats don't like to be washed. Okay. So for this lesson, notice I have a circle for the head. We're going to pull out all that fun hair. Do you see all the texture on this? Do you see all the texture going down the neck? And then we're going to put them in a bathtub. So we use a contour line right here. But then we had all these bubbles, all this layering, and we bring the bucket down and we put some more uh, bubbles and suds down here. And then we've got them on the head, we've got them in the air, we've got water dripping. Look at these whiskers. Those are sad looking whiskers, right? Whatever, whatever. So make sure you have enough room on your page. Okay, put your hand on your page. Make sure you have it, um, you can have it vertical, horizontal, either way. Just make sure that if you put your hand on your page, you have enough space. Okay, if you're a large drawer or teeny tiny, just make sure you have enough space on your page. So I'm gonna put the head close to the top. So I'm gonna put a nice light circle right there. Let's just do a real light circle. Can you even see my circle? Whoa, that's so light, Miss Emily, wow. So once you have that, we're gonna pull down the neck. We're gonna build this, build the, the placement first, okay? Let's, let's put our character in his bathtub so we make sure we have enough room. I don't want to upset students with, with missing cat parts, okay? Don't, don't have any missing cat parts. So here's the ball, here's the head. Then pull down the neck on both sides. Can you see that? Whoa, that's so light. Let me see if I can zoom in even more. Can you see that? Thumbs up, you see it? Okay, good, thank you. Now, we have to put this kitty cat in a bathtub. So let's decide how big we want the bathtub. I'm gonna put two dots, one on, both, one on each side. Notice one side's a little bit bigger than the other side. I just don't want him in there, like straight in there, you know, right in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is take my left dot, lower my, curve my line, drop down, curve that line. Wow, I'm having a hard time seeing that. I'm glad you guys can see it. There we go, it did focus. So draw that curve. Now, take your dot on the left side and we're gonna pull a line in. We're creating the bucket. And remember, draw light. I don't know why I'm getting darker. I guess it's my screen. I don't know. Draw another line in. We're creating the bucket. We don't have to do the back of the bucket. Don't worry about that. We're going to put so many suds in there. It's going to be wonderful. Now, the bottom of the bucket, we're going to use a contour line to join those, those two um, lines coming down. And I think we did it. This is all we need in order to create our cat in the bucket. How exciting is that, right? We're like, oh yeah, we totally got this. We have it, we have it, we have it. Okay, everybody got all the parts? Let me show you again. We've got the bucket down here. We've got the head, the neck. We'll put everything else in as we start putting in detail. Okay, so right in the middle of your circle, right in the middle. Are you ready for this? Let's put a cat nose. I'm just gonna put a nice oval. Put a nice oval in there, put your reflective dot, and then color it in. 
color it in nice and nice and one value give it a dark 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 look okay now this cat is this cat like really happy really smiling like our little gopher not really so let's put that little crease down the nose below that nose and i'm gonna put just like a little upside down why because this cat is not thrilled <laughs> not too excited about being in a, a bubble bath got that part now for eyes let's use the letter l on the right side let's put a letter l on the left side let's do a backwards letter l that is a good placement tool for putting your eyes in. Nice placement. So in that letter L, let's curve it around. Now with that letter L, look at the bottom. I'm gonna curve it. I'm gonna use that bottom of the letter L to curve it to create some more depth in my cat's face. Okay, because that nose isn't just flat on his face. I didn't, I didn't see your cat have a flat face. So I, I know, um, we're going to create some depth. Now I'm going to put a reflected dot on the right side. You can barely see that, so tiny. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Put the reflective dot in the same spot on the right. It's on the right with the nose. It's on the right and the right with both eyes. Got that part. Good, good, good. Now this side, I'm going to put like a little eyebrow that's not too pleased. The other side, I'm going to put a nice big bubble right close to the eye, right there. Let's put a nice big water bubble right there. Got that? Good. Now I'm going to erase a little bit on the left of that bubble. We're going to put an ear there. Now the ear is just a triangle. Okay, let's just sketch out a little triangle. Just a little one. Now let's give it some more shape. I'm gonna round out that triangle. Instead of having straight, I'm gonna round it out. Do you see how I did that? I used that triangle to help me get my shape. And then I rounded that out. Really nice, making a really good ear. Now I'm going to erase the top of my circle head, okay? Just the very top near that bubble I created. And let's add another, my dogs are going wild. Why is that? I hope you can't hear that. I'm gonna add a few more circles and let them overlap, okay? Let them overlap. Um, draw some big, draw some small, make it messy because I'm going to show you how to clean it up and um, make them look like they're suds. So I put all those in there. Then let's go on the opposite side of this ear and let's put another triangle over here and create the other ear. So we have a triangle Let's round it out, make that look like an ear. Kind of looks like a kangaroo face to me, I don't know. Does it look like a kangaroo? We can make a kangaroo out of it. A sad kangaroo, I don't like sad kangaroos. <laughs> we could put a fish in his mouth, maybe we could be happier, what do you think? So the top of the head, we can only see a little bit of hair. So let's spike that hair. I'm going to clean out my ear right there. Spike that hair and even pull some of that wild hair in the ear. You can do that on both sides. Have some of those suds, so, uh, fluffy hair because it's all full of soap. I'm going to zoom in, see if we can see that any better than it is. There we go. No, yes, no. My camera can only zoom in so close. Okay, so for the suds on the top of the head, I want this front big circle, I want it cleaned out. So I'm gonna take my eraser, 
and clean out that first circle as best as I can. You erase some of it, it's okay, you can put it back. Put that back. Now for the suds in the back, anything touching on the inside of it, I'm going to erase. So I'm just leaving the outside rim. Do you see how I'm just leaving the outside of that? Leave that outside line right there. Then you can go back and go around the out edge, go behind that ear, and then just have that front side right there. What do you think? That looks really fun. That looks crazy. I'm even gonna add one circle right there. Whoa, that's a silly cat with suds on the hair. Maybe I'm gonna put one in the air. Let's put a reflective line in it too. There we go. Let's put a reflective line in that big sud in the front. Remember our light source is coming from the right, so it's gonna be on the right side of your sud. Gotta be very consistent with that. Okay, so let's erase the rest of our head that circle that we were using, because we're gonna pull the face out just a little. So here we have the nose, and come out to the edge and put a dot right out there. We're not gonna do a foreshortened circle, but we want a dot to mark how far out we want some of these um, fun hair fluffy spikes, okay? So as we do that, we're gonna pull the head down Okay, I'm going to draw a nice little guideline down to the neck just to help me do some more spikes for his hair. Can you see that? Real light because he is, he is a clean kitty cat. And then do the same thing on the other side. Touch your nose, go out past your ear. See where I have that? And then you can pull the hair down. I have some wild hair and don't worry, it can be really wild um, because this is a, a wet cat. And then pull your face down like that, just with a straight line. And then you can add your little spikes pulling that hair down. That is a sad cat. Look at that poor thing. Oh my goodness, that's so sad. I'm gonna put some bubbles over here, bubble. I'm going to put one tucked behind him. Bubble. Maybe another bubble over here with a bubble behind it. Bubble. <laughs> this is this cat. Oh, poor baby. Poor baby. It's going to be clean though, right? We shouldn't feel too bad. So for the neck, I'm going to just spike a couple of hairs down the side. Thinking about your direction. Think about your direction when you do it, okay? I always think of a Christmas tree when I'm doing spikes. They go out, okay? Go out, away from the midline. Out, 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 okay? Just like that. You can even put a couple of spikes on his um, neck coming down, okay? Opposite sides go out, 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 out. Don't go all the way down. We're going to put suds there. We're going to put some soap on him. We're going to have his tail flopped over the edge over here. That's going to be funny. Oh my goodness. That's too funny. Okay, once you have that, let's put some soap in the bucket. Okay, you ready for that? Let's draw a really, the ones we want everybody to notice first, our eye to go to first, let's draw the complete circle. So I want one right here, and let's put the tail on. Hold on, let's erase this little edge over here. I want a tail right flopping over here. So let's have a tail flopping over the edge. So let's have the thickness, and it's gonna be dripping, so I want it to be pointing down. So have the tail, just a little bit of the tail. We're gonna have so many suds in this bathtub, we're not gonna, we're not gonna worry about the arms and the legs of the, the cat, the rest of the body. So for this tail, let's go ahead and add the spiky, uh, wet, heavy fur, okay? Let's do the spikes 
on this tail, make it very heavy, make our eye have something to feel. I feel like this poor kitty cat is soaking wet. Okay, that's what you want your audience to see is a very wet kitty cat. Let's put some drops even coming down off. Of so let's draw a bunch of circles as light as you can. Draw a bunch of different size circles to fill um, and go over, go over the edge. You just put a ton of circles in here because remember like the suds up here we're going to erase um, in between them and create all that fun um, sud looking oh my goodness we're going to have so much fun with this so just go crazy on your circles just go crazy have them overlapping have some of them small have some of them large have some of them cascading down the edge have teeny teeny tiny ones Okay, have um, um, I'm gonna erase this edge over here and I'm gonna have a bunch of them over here. I'm gonna draw some just flowing out on the floor. I mean, this cat doesn't look like he's making a mess, but he sure has made a mess. Silly, silly kitty kitty. So I'm gonna just keep drawing. You can go as wild as you want. I'm pretty sure some of you are going really wild on this. Oh, you guys can't even see. Oh my goodness. Just tell me. I get zoomed in and, and excited about my bubbles. I'm excited about my bubbles. Got my suds going. Got all my, my weird... Okay, it looks like he's having a bath in that gopher's mud pile is what he looks like, right? That's so silly. So silly. Super duper duper silly. But put all your circles on there. Get as many as you think you want. And then what you need to do, grab an eraser. I have this nice click eraser. If you have a giant eraser like this, like my big square one, use the corner, okay? Use a little, little edge. And go in and erase where they connect. Okay, do you see how I'm going to just pick these three bubbles right here? And erase where they connect in the middle. Once I do that, Yours is not going to look exactly like mine, okay? So don't get upset right now. Yours is not going to look like mine. We're going to all have different suds in our bathtub. But the idea here is to have some that are just really big and then some that are closest to us. We want them the most prominent ones. Like this one right here. I'm going to put a big circle here, reflective dot right or line right there. And then I'm going to darken the outer edge so that you can just see how they're forming. Okay, they're, they're, they're translucent. So I want to show that there's just that little hint of connecting there. So I'm just going to think about where I want to erase. You can always add it again later if you're like, oh, I think I want it there. Um, have them trailing down the edge. Go ahead and erase anything inside those bubbles. Like, see like the edge of the bucket? We don't want to see the edge of the bucket. So I'm going to have to go and erase all that edge. Give it a nice clean up right along there. And on my tail, I want to make sure that I have all my bubbles on my tail. There we go. This is looking good. Looking good. And you can still see some of the lines. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to add some bubbles, add some more bumps, go on the outer edges. And on the inside, you can even add some. Look at that. I added some and then had it trail off. Okay, so it's all about creating depth, giving that illusion, giving your eye something to feel. I feel for this cat, right? You feel for the cat. You're like, oh, poor kitty cat. <laughs> poor baby kitty cat. Oh, poor Neptune. He did not want to get in the bathtub today, but today was the day, right? 
<laughs> he didn't even know it. He did not wake up this morning and say, I'm going to take a bath. So yeah, let's give, give some more layers, some more depth. And when we start shading, if you have a stomp, we don't even need to like use our pencil to shade, but if you don't have a stomp, you can go back and you can start shading some of the overlapped areas and give more depth to your bubbles and your suds. What do you think? This is awesome, awesome, fun thing to do. We can do this with um, our, like our rocket ships. When we do rocket ships and they blast off, this is kind of like we do the smoke underneath the rocket ships. So, so I'm going back and I'm adding some of the circles that you see at the front and then I'm doing some overlapping. That's awesome. Very good. Now I'm going to darken in the areas that my bucket is showing through. Okay, darken those areas in. Um, you can go back and you can shade the opposite light source on your kitty cat going down the left side. Okay, there's so many details to this that we have to go back and add that I don't want to spend all the time talking about how to do suds, but that's the most important part is getting that on there so you have that shape and it's not just like bump, 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 but you actually have some real shape and some real depth there. And that is super, super cool. Super, super cool. I'm loving this part. I get real quiet when I'm doing my, my suds. You guys get quiet when you do suds? <laughs> like you've drawn suds before. Have you ever drawn suds before? I don't know if we've ever done suds in, in any of my art classes. So I'm going to do a few trailing off on the floor over there. I am going to give a horizon line. Let's see. I want my horizon line through the bucket because I don't want to like make a line go through his neck. So I'm going to put a horizon line through the bucket area. That way it gives my eye a reference to where this is on the page. Okay, where is this guy? Is he floating in space or is he actually on something? Yeah, he's kind of on something. So mine is pretty much what, what I want it. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to put some detail. So I'm going to shade the left side because today everything, the light source is on my right. I'm going to shade under his eyes, give him more depth and the left side of the nose, just like that. And what about his whiskers? His whiskers, I'm going to have them pointing down because <laughs> They're just full of water. Look at that sad baby. Now, some of my students add stripes because they have a striped um, kitty cat. Um, Neptune there, he was just one solid black color, right? So we're just going to leave Neptune just, um, just what he is right here. And then we're going to just shade him. Just shade down the left side, shade the chin. Got that. I'm going to add some color to his, or just some shading to his tail, just to give it a little contrast. Okay, maybe his tail's really dirty. Maybe his tail's just so dirty. Ugh. And then down the left side of my bucket, I'm going to start darkest on the left, and that way when I get my stomp, I can pull it lighter toward the light source. I go lighter toward the light source. So just pull that down behind your suds. Looks good so far. Now my bucket, I'm going to pull contour lines pulling around because um, the bucket I was using as my illustration had lines on it. So can you barely see how I put some contour lines wrapping around 
just helping my audience look at this bucket and going, oh yeah, that is a round object. Wow, that's a better way to do it. And then of course, my bucket is um, casting a shadow on the ground. So pull out a shadow, making sure not to mess with your really cool bubbles. Okay, we'll add the bubble shadows with our stomp. But right here, let's go between each bubble, each sud, and pull it out toward the left and do it that direction. What do you think? That looks really good. That looks really good. Now I have a stomp. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to start blending. Start blending all this area. And even in my suds, I'm going to take it on the left side. That's opposite the light source. And I'm going to create some more depth with my stomp. See how I'm doing that? It's very light on my screen for you to see, but I know it is helpful to add for my audience to see that and they'll go, whoa. And if you need to load your stomp, that's when you go to where you have it shaded and you can pull that out. See how I'm pulling it toward the light source and that's creating this bucket to look like a round object. You wouldn't do that if it was a box, if we had our kitty cat in a box. Okay, I will do that sometime. We'll put a kitty cat in a box. Or a doggy. You can put a doggy. Or a guinea pig. My guinea pig, he, he's in a box sometimes when we have to clean his cage. What do you think? You like that? Do you have fun with this one? Using your imagination? I'm going to have drips coming down. This poor kitty cat. <laughs> I just keep calling him poor kitty cat. I'm the one that put him in the water, right? My fault. My bad. But he did stink. He needed a bath. And now I'm going to put my name on here because I'm, I'm owning what I did. I did a good job. Did you guys do a good job? Did you have fun drawing suds on a kitty cat? 